All right, guys, this is uh, Jerry Cuomo. We're back live uh, with our patient, and today we're trying in an implant crown, again, for cementation purposes. I'm just going to show you where we are right now. Go ahead and blow air, please. Uh, we're using a solid abutment, and we're going to go ahead and show you how we cement in our cases, how we do the preparation. So far, we pulled off the temporary and let me have an explorer, please. I'm just going to point out the gingival height of our tissue. Uh, first thing I'm going to use is a long explorer. I'm just going to go around and check for cement. A little air, please. This cup of tissue that you see right here on the mesial lingual, I'm going to try to zoom in for you. You can see that. Now she's blowing air. There's just a little bit of cement still down in there. See, now that long term could be a problem. So we're going to show you how to avoid uh, any permanent cement down in that subgingival zone area. We'll do it with a couple of items that we used to say. Go ahead and just brush that off now with air. Just go a little air more air, please. That's it. And down in there, too, you're going to have collagen fibers, epithelial tissue that has been trying to reattach every time, every time you take out your provisional. You're going to get that. The, uh, reattachment of that uh, epithelial tissue. All right. So let me just uh, go ahead now, and we'll try in our crown. We've already done it. We've checked the contacts. We've got a high spot, a couple high spots, but there's our crown inserted. And now we'll take that out, put it aside, adjust the occlusion, and um, let's go ahead and do that now. Basically our implant crowns look like this. They're contoured uh, with the emergence profile. We try to keep the tissues as much in contact with the crown itself. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the inclines. I need one more fine diamond just like this, please. I'm going to do a uh, change out on the fine diamond. Uh, while I'm doing that, just to let you know, our next steps are going to be including uh, Siltrax number uh, 7. That's what we're going to be using. We'll place that underneath the tissue. I'll show you exactly how we do that. Can we have a football fine diamond, please? All right, there we go. All right, now we're just going to adjust those inclines first. Let's go back in the mouth. And we'll get our articulating paper ready. Push that in place. Paper up on the upper arch. And close all the way down, Dom, all the way. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, open. So you can see we still got a pretty good high spots involved. Uh, he's been without a tooth for a while, so we had some super eruption probably from the day we took the impression till till now. So we're going to continue. We're going to move right now to thin paper, and uh, it's a super thin articulating paper. We'll get that ready. See if we can end up with adjusting our contact. I don't want to make this entire video about uh, bite adjustments, but if we have to, we'll separate the video into two parts. All right, back in there. Okay, tap, tap, tap. Okay, it's starting to look better now. Dom, you feel pretty good about your bite? Tap, yeah. tap. Yep. And I might just dust that a little bit more when we're done. So that's got a nice snug fit. We also check for nice broad contacts. That's important. 
that you've got a good contact air on the mirror, please. Car good contact on both buccal and or excuse me, on both mesial and distal. And there's our one point. I'd like to see a little more occlusion on this uh, m uh, di mesial distal uh, cuss tip here, along with excuse me, mesial buccal here, and distal buccal cuss tip. All right. So let's pop out our. And now I'll just show you real quick if we can give you the step-by-step -step process now how we play Siltrax chord. That'll go 360 degrees around our tooth. And you just pull that out. She's going to go ahead and pass me the uh, Siltrax chord. And we use the number seven braided Siltrax chord which is uh, perfect for this type of procedure. And Don, just let me know if that's a problem. Uh, I'd like you to just cut this end off for me. Okay. Back in there. And we're going to go 360 all the way around. We'll start on the buckle. Now you're going to feel a little pressure, Dom, underneath your gum tissue, all right? We're just going to lay a little cotton. Let's get that started. Uh, I'll move it around again. Or you're going to re lightly retract for me. Go ahead. Lightly retract. That's it. Good. All right. Let's uh, show you how we start the cord and put that in place. And I'm not going to spend the majority of this film showing you how to do this. But I'm going to pick it up where we have this already packed with the next video. Alright, so we'll do part one and part two will be coming up next. Alright guys, talk to you soon.